23 in the first of the 2024 model that we've done. This is a complete new design that Kurt did, which was essentially two years in the making. So it is, it is exciting. The new design that the Prevo did on the chassis, the front end changes that they did, this now having the E-mirrors on it, uh, as opposed to the mirrors that are fixed onto the side nose of the coach. Uh, there's now cameras on the upper caps on each side, and now we have the displays right in front of us. So it's, it is exciting, there's no question. What we're looking at is the new 2024 H345 dashboard. This is a significant change from the uh, stock dashboard that Prevo supplies. One of the main reasons we did a redesign was to have enough room for our Ad iPad Pro uh, driver control panel as well as the addition of a 10 inch uh, either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto screen uh, that obviously can be used for the driver when he's driving down the road. The new dash cluster is color now, so it's easier to see. The steering wheel in the new model uh, is more of an automotive style. We've enhanced it with our own leather tre treatment and stitching to match uh, the rest of the styling of, of the coach. There's much more mobility in, in the steering wheel than what we had in prior models. On the styling part of it, we have uh, three different dash inlay panels available now. This is a piano black color. We also have a wood grain or a new carbon fiber. Uh, both all these panels can be done either in a gloss finish or in a matte finish. Another new feature on the 2024 H345 is the available e-mirrors. As you can see with the camera's views here, uh, you virtually have no blind spot on the side of the coach, uh, which is really nice. It's great viewing at nighttime. You no longer have mirror shake, which you get on a traditional mirror. You will notice how they've been integrated into the A-pillar and the center pillar design. Um, we spent a lot of time on this A-pillar in particular to make it as narrow as we could to give you as much visibility out the front corner here in the coach. It's no wider than the monitor itself. We also reduce the width of the center pillar as well. What you'll notice in this coach is the change in the front overhead system and our ceilings. A lot of that was a result of the change of the slope of the front of the coach, as well as Prevo's structural change of the ceiling line that now, or roof line that continues all the way to the front of the coach. A new feature on the uh, 2024 H345 are the synchronized wiper motors. As compared to our other model, these are much more robust, there's more speeds, they're quieter than what we had before. This is a brand new design from Prevo, as well as Liberty Coach. Um, one of the features in this particular model is our new grill work in the front. It has a very nice angular design to follow the lines of the new chassis, as well as an updated Liberty Coach plate that is now backlit. It could be used as uh, when you're parked or going down the road. The flip down service door in the front. Now we have access to the wiper motors, which are more powerful, more speeds, as well as the um, driver's AC return air filter. So now very easy to get to instead of having to access through the stairwells on the Classic H. The significant slope of the front of the coach as compared to the Classic H. This has helped with fuel economy, reduced wind noise. It also helps keep the front of the coach cleaner due to the significant curve that we now have. The new LED headlights as well as the curve around the front corner of the coach, which is helping the aerodynamics as well. Another feature on the new H345 is the design of our awning caps. We maintain the slope of the coach up at the top to maintain the fuel efficiency that Prevo set out to do with the new H. Some of the feature indents up on the top and also on the side, the ones on the side set up the design of the zippy awning tubes that go down the length of the coach. The drag reducing feature that's on the back corner of the shell. We maintain that feature over the top of the coach onto our new cap design. The new cap design carries the feature of the awning tube on the side of it and adds a really nice look that finishes off the top corner of the coach. We're always looking for new ways to not only advance the coach technology-wise, but in design as well to make the coach easier for people to use. We have seen a, a significant demographic switch or shift, if you will, uh, to age groups now that are late 30s, getting up you know, into their 80s. 
using the coach. So we're trying to, to keep pace with that as well.